Hi, Tim Cashel from Barco here, and today we're going to set up some 4K inputs and outputs. We're going to start with a background that's made up of four SDI connectors. So selecting the first four SDIs on the first input card, we're going to add this background, select it, and then go to the Adjustment tab. On the Adjustment tab, you'll notice that the inputs are laid out horizontally. Go below and change it from 4x1 to 2x2, and this orients it in a grid, and then save the background. Now we're going to do the same thing except as an input. So under the input tab, we're going to add the four connectors that are on the second SDI card, adding them all at the same time. Once we've added them, we're going to select it and go to the adjust tab. On the adjust tab, you'll notice the same horizontal orientation, but below we have a button marked grid. Select grid to orient in two by two and hit apply, and then save the input. Now we're going to move to outputs. On the output tab, we're going to add the four SDI connectors again as a discrete 4K output, adding all the connectors at the same time. Once we've added them, we're going to select the output and go to the adjust tab. On the adjust tab, we're going to move to the connector menu, and you'll notice again the horizontal orientation. Again, select grid and apply. Now we're going to move to the destinations. So with the four SDI selected, add a screen destination. And you'll notice that the destination already has a resolution of 3840 by 2160. Now what you have to do next is assign layers to the destination. And with 4K sources, you need to have a layer that is 4K capable. So under the layer assignment, select 4K and add layer to destination. You can also add single link layers or dual link layers if you have other sources that are not 4K. Now we're going to set up a side-by-side -side 4K using two DVI connectors. So again, as a background, select both connectors and add them. Click on the background and go to adjust. Make sure that the connector capacity is set for DL instead of SL. Next, we need to set the EDID so that the graphics card can generate the resolutions we're looking for. In this case, 1920 by 2160. Then select the refresh rate. In this case, 5994 and 60 are options because we are bringing in the 4K over multiple cables. Then scroll to the bottom and save the background. Now we're going to set up a side-by-side -side 4K on an output. But to do that, we're going to have to disable two of the output connectors. In this case, the bottom two HDMIs. So we highlight them Go to the Adjust tab and set their capacity to None. Then select the top two and set their capacity to DL. It has to be the top two because those are the high-speed HDMI outputs. Then we select both connectors and add them as an output. Next, select that output, go to Adjust, and then let's take a look at the Connector tab we see that they're oriented side by side just as we need them, and there's no further adjustments necessary. Next, select the resolution you want to output. In this case, again, we're going to output 1920 by 2160 at 60. Notice we're not selecting 3840 by 2160 because we're actually specifying the resolution for each half of the image, or each connector. Next, we can add a screen destination based on those connectors, and you'll notice that the total resolution is 3840 by 2160. Now we're going to set up a 4K signal coming in on the single HDMI on the bottom of this first combo card. But again, we have to disable the other connectors because of the 4K capacity limit. So we select the other connectors and set their capacity to none. Then select our HDMI and change its capacity to 4K. Now we can add it as an input. So going to the input tab, add input, select the connector, done adding. Now if you select that input and go to the adjustment tab, you should now be able to set the EDID for the 4K you want to use. In this case, we're going to set it for UHD 4K, which is 3840 by 2160. Now our refresh rate will be limited to 30 because our HDMI connectors are 1.4A which has a limit of a 30 hertz refresh 
on single 4K. Don't forget to scroll down to hit the Save Input button at the bottom of the column. Now we're going to set up a 4K output on a single HDMI. Again, we have to disable the bottom two HDMIs because of the 4K limit. You can use either one of the two high-speed HDMIs from the top. Add it as an output, select it, and go to the Adjustment tab. Then go to the Connector tab and set the connector capacity to DL. Notice there is no 4K selection. DL is the same for dual link and 4K outputs. Go back to the first tab and set the resolution for the output to 3840 by 2160. And again, notice that your refresh rates are limited to 30 Hertz because the 1.4a specification. Be sure to hit the apply button to apply this output resolution. Next we're going to go to the destination tab and add a screen destination based on this HDMI. Notice that the resolution comes up as 3840 by 2160 at 30. Now we select the destination and go to the Adjust tab, and under the layer assignments we need to add at least one 4K layer if we want to use the 4K input we created earlier. And again, other layers can be single link or dual link if you only have limited number of 4K sources. This is Tim Cashel with Barco. Thanks for watching. For more information, please consult the user guide.